and welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pitstain Hobbies. I'm your host, Anson Schwartz. <clears throat> we are back on the Enterprise D from Fan Home. Click the links below. And uh, we've got all of our my recommended uh, supplies out. We have 3 8 inch wide electrical tape, half inch wide electrical tape, and 3 8 inch wide clear. This is like book repair or book binding tape. Uh, all to be had on Amazon, and links are in my Amazon little Amazon shopping list store thingy there down below in the description, so you can find all the tapes. Got our little box of uh, our little bead bead organizer for all our screws. Also in the Amazon store, three-in-one oil for the metal screws going into metal. Um, also a link in the store. Actually, gotta go there and buy another one. I think my pumpy thing is kind of it doesn't seem to be spooging out with the uh, veracity it used to, but I don't know, it works, I'll keep it. I have our windows that we've already sanded down um, as per uh, myenterprised.com. I have some Mike Lane uh, lifeboat hatch stickers, vinyl. Those are cool, our instructions, even though we're going to forego the book. And I'm build I will be scrolling through myenterprised.com and follow along with Todd's instructions. Um, Cause honestly, it's easier than having a book open on my, on my table. So that link below also, and uh, let's get started here. Oh no, I said, let's get started. Hope Andy doesn't sue me. <coughs> ah, no, I'm sure Andy likes me. He's too nice. I don't know if he's ever sued anybody in his life. He can if he wants, that'd be funny. And just got sued by Andy's hobby headquarters for saying, let's get started. Oh dear. Hey, there's, there's worse ways to die. Let's get our, there we go. Stage 35 bits out. Yeah, let's see. We got some uh, some uh, BM screws, my favorite. Um, EM screws, DP screws, BP screws. We've got part of the uh, the neck here, hull plating. I love the paintwork on this thing. It's a little. You got to just be be careful with it. You know, it's it's it can be delicate if not treated properly. But that's anything that's pre-painted, really. You're. Uh, you're toying with uh, with fate if you're if you're beating these parts around. So we usually put that down. And let's see what we got to do. Looks like and then okay. I have no idea what's going on here. What was I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to put the put the power switch into this. I will not be doing that. <laughs> um, we're going, we're going central power. So I have a plan for this. I'll uh, show you a little bit later in the video, though. So I'm going to switch because I mean we got our little. I think this is our power switch right here. Is this it? This little guy. Oh, this is for a different model entirely. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we're going to take this panel. We're going to flip her over. And we're going to get uh, our skate pods and our clear and black windows loaded up. And I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Our, uh, our pods and windows are taped down, lifeboats, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then we're going to retrieve this part from a previous stage. And if you see right here, I rolled a thin little bead of this Uhu Patafic, this black blue tack, whatever. Um, and I put a little bit right, just right there. Because I was getting light bleed. I did a test fit. And I was getting a little light bleed through the uh, the lifeboats. Even though we uh, put our, you know, electrical tape on them. In certain angles, you can still end up with a little bit of light bleed. Little light leaks. Okay. So we get these lined up. And the light is lined up in there. Okay, and we're down and we're toit. Okay, oh, wait, there we go. Okay, now we have it lined up. Need a couple of, uh, what are we going here? Two EM screws. Okay, so right here and right here. Right here, EM screws here and here, so I'll be right back. Well, look who's back, our upper saucer section. Um, I made a boo-boo before. I took uh, I took the red 
red and blue wire and put it in here, I was supposed to take the other harness. So you have a black and yellow from each harness going into there. Just a quick correction there. Don't want anyone to follow along my stupidity and actually repeat it. That's I'm, I'm, I'm here to make the mistakes so you don't have to. We need deck panel U3O3A. Lights really blow that out. There we go. And uh, we're gonna very carefully flip this big beast over and I think kind of get it over here. Let's see here. Is that what I'm doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, let me move the screws out of the way. All right. And not in here, but in here. Yes. So not in here, but in here, we're going to Get this wire through, and this is going to go somewhere? Where the hell does this thing go? Oh, maybe it's like that situation. Oh, no. This situation? Uh, all right. <laughs> One moment, Houston. Yeah, this is definitely got to go in here. Not here, but here. Let's see how we mount this. Scrolly, scrolly. Okay. So then, I'm so confused. Oh, this is going over here. Boom. Shakalaka. And then this one will go through this hole here. So I don't know if you can see that. But that's how the red wire is going through here into the side there. The yellow one's going up here. It's because it's going to go most likely in that section. No, it's not. Ex it's going to go all the way around, actually. And oh, this thing's getting really heavy. It's going to go around into this side pocket right here. So let me get that fedaddled into place. And I'll be right back to show you the final results. One sec. Okay, it's all about wire routing on this. So we've got our little panel in all by its lonesome over here. Could you please stop grabbing onto my microfiber towel? Such a grabby, the microfiber. That's screwed into place. Put a piece of 3 8 inch black electrical tape right along there. Don't cover the light bulb sockets. On the other side, you can see this yellow wire. It's, you gotta, whoop, you gotta like get it flush to the side there. And then the blue and the red one just point her up. And then the next part that's going to go on is this thing that we assembled. And that is basically going to go right about meh, right there. Um, so I'm going to get this flipped over. Careful, Ian. Careful, Ian. Don't scratch that paint. It'll kick your ass. Wouldn't you love to see me beat myself up on a YouTube? T Don't actually comment on that. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple of silly ones out there. So we're going to get this wiring harness through this second opening right here um, along with I guess whatever this red and blue light is and then and then and then this red and blue one has to go over here to this light port Okay, so we're probably, okay, I'm probably going to put one screw in the hole, but then I'm just going to shove that in there, and then, and then, and you got to make sure there's a little bit of a lip here that you got to kind of, you got to kind of flex and wiggle it in. See, I like, it doesn't, well, it's in there now, but you got to, you got to play with the parts just a little tiny bit to get them to line up really well. And then they line up really well. So I'm happy with that fit. So let me get this thing secured with screws, get that light bulb in, and we'll be right back. Alrighty then. They're all in. Uh, it was uh, six BM screws, two DP screws, and two EM screws. And be careful when you're putting these EM screws into the reflectors, because if you look very closely, 
you can kind of see I cracked the plastic a little. Do not over tighten them. But tighten them enough. It's weird. You got to tighten them down enough. But half a turn too far and you hear a little crack. It's not the end of the world. Back it off a quarter turn. Leave it. It's going to be fine. Just, just keep aware. I think there's a couple spots on my ship where, where that screw cracking the plastic reflector stuff. I, there's a cut. I think there's at least one or two other spots where that happened. You know, there's one right here. Same thing happened. And there's another one right here where an even worse crack happened because I was manhandling it and a little bit. I, I've cracked a few of these, so I'm a professional at breaking parts, but it's fine. They're not going to, it's not going to affect the final outcome of the ship. That's okay. And uh, somebody before me has snapped the screw off right in there. So <clears throat> there we are. Stage 35's pretty much done. We're not installing this just yet, and I have to do some things to this, which I will do. Uh, oh, I'm going on the live stream in 10 minutes. We'll be back after that, and I'll continue along with our Enterprise D build. Be right back, everybody. A few hours later. I don't know if I want to use like the video clip. <laughs> Knowing me, with my luck, I'll get uh, I'll get copyright struck on uh, on the uh, the tubes. Anyway, um, well, I was on a live stream last night, and uh, like I said, uh, you know the whole panels and the windows and the things and the reflectors—they're very. It's just the same thing over and over. So I'm like, no one's missing anything if I do a little extra work. And I did the other side of the uh, the next section because it's the same as this other side, which I did cover earlier, and there was nothing, you know, there's nothing special. The same same thing on the other side. Um, that being said, I did want to highlight a couple of small items here. Uh, one being uh, leaving the bottom off of here if you're centrally powering it. And two, if you're essentially powering it, that giant gaping maw for the power switch. I have a spare panel right here. And the way I dealt with that was we took a piece of our UV resin tape, taped right over that little hole. We then incrementally filled the cavity, a little at a time, flashing it off with a UV uh, flashlight from the back and the, from the top first. And from the back through the tape, and then a little more UV resin until it's eh, pretty much flush. And then, and then, and then we paint it over it by hand with some Citadel layer administering work. This is meant for brush painting. It's a thicker paint. If you only have air, go ahead and use the air. It's fine. It'll probably be perfectly fine. I just grabbed that bottle instead. Um, and then we have a uh, pretty good color match there. It's very, very slightly, slightly different. But with all the little panels and Aztecs and everything, that's fine. Then we have some filler pieces to go over these screw openings. And we're not going to install any of these little fillers just yet. And there's a little couple, couple rubber butt plugs here for the screws there. We're not putting them in just yet, just in case. Just in case I need to get back into that sucker. Then here, uh, light leaks. Uh, there's, you know, there's a few. We have our electrical tape, we have our foil tape, and we have our best friend in the entire world available. Hit my Amazon link below. <clears throat> this stuff. Yoo-hoo, Patafix, oo-hoo, yoo-hoo, oo-hoo, yoo-hoo, I don't know. Whatever. Patafix Pro Power. Now, I noticed, um, that I didn't have many light leaks, but where I did, I just, I would shove it in there. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, finger, thingy, thingy. You could just barely make it out. But I have a light leak right in this corner here where this, 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 and this panels meet right in the corner of that intersection there. A little bit of light leak. And take a little blob of our uhu, and we're just going to kind of get it generally in there. And then we're going to get another little blob of our uhu. dab will do you a little dab and we're gonna get a little bit a little bit right there then we got to get it in there got to really really ramrod it in so also in my Amazon store is this little set of plastic uh, sculpting tools three dollars and fifty cents when I bought them prices do fluctuate and it is you know Black Friday ish time of year when I'm recording this so who knows we get all sorts of different all sorts of different little pokey bits 
So like here's a little, here's one with little, little round balls on the end. And that one, that's not doing what we need. So let's get this, get this little, this little pokey one here. And we're just gonna keep cramming this stuff in there. And you wanna get it into that little corner. And you just jam it in there. I mean, gently. These, these plastic tools are very gentle. You're not really gonna break anything. I mean, unless you're me, or you really try extra super duper hard. You just wanna just work it, work it into that corner cavity like so. See, this is the important stuff people need to see, I feel. You know, the rest of it, follow Todd's website. Extremely great instructions there. This is where it's sort of like dealer's choice depending on how your model bolts together because they're they all seem to be I mean there's light leaks in similar places on on most of them but that being said we can take a look if I hold it up to light let me see if I see that that light leak and that light leak is gone it was right it was right here and I could almost see the goop coming through, barely. But because it's like a grayish, blackish, you know, not quite, not a stark black, it's, it's, it, it, it's a pasty dark gray, it really blends in well. And you could use that anywhere, like in any of these gaps here. A lot of these will get pulled together and shut when you get the, the uh, bull nosing, whatever, the, the, you know, yeah, that, those end parts on there. That'll kind of clamp them together and that'll, that'll cure a lot more light leaks. But that's that for now. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're officially done with issue 11 as well now. And uh, here's where we sit. We've got the whole front half here done and we got some of this started. See, there's like a kind of a big gap right there. But if you squeeze them together, they're fine. See, they, they kind of they squeeze together. So when you get those end caps on, that's what pulls everything together. And that'll cut down many of the light leaks. And if we find any more in our travels, we're just gonna, we're just gonna cram some of this stuff into the little crevice with our little tools here. So highly recommended you get these two things ASAP. Also, um, I, do, I do really love these vinyl decals from uh, Mike Lane. Um, life boots are very nice. And I mean, this model looks friggin' awesome. You know, the paint job on it is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, I mean, I like. Um, so, yeah, should I just go to 12? We're not, this isn't too long of a video so far. Ah, hell, we'll do issue 12. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's stage 45. This is a uh, monumental. We got another big circuit board for inside the ship, inside the saucer. And they sent us a corrected uh, Bussard EM field projector. So originally it was just cl straight up clear orange plastic and it, it, that wasn't, you know, perfectly accurate to the uh, filming model. So we, you know, we, we blacked it out and, and, you know, primed it after that. And then, then we painted it in a, uh, like a golden yellow. We've got that color right here. Gold yellow from Game Air Vallejo sprays very nicely. Turn up your pressure a tiny bit for Vallejo paint, even when it says air. Um, one of your other options was the uh, Ureal yellow, but this is, th putting this through your airbrush is like, it, you might as well just fill the cup with oatmeal. Um, this is still, you know, not great. So we don't really need this. We already corrected ours. Our, uh, our little formation light was also, you know, not the right color. And uh, we just we just put it in alcohol until we got all the color off of it, so it was just just clear. And uh, so we're not gonna be using these bits. Thank you though for including them to try to make things more accurate. So really, all we're gonna use from stage 45 is another hull panel, a light, and our circuit board. So I'm gonna get those in, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, well there we go. We got quite a bit done there. Um, just more panels, more panels. These last two, and uh, we got everything plugged into the mains right now into our 
handy dandy, uh, what the hell, Nancadf power supply from Amazon. Click the link in my Amazon store below. Click the link to Fan Home below if you want to check out the Enterprise. Um, so I'm going to run this on central USB power because this thing is pulling 1.4 amps right now at 5 volts. Just this. Two-thirds of the upper saucer and the neck. We got the other third of the upper saucer, the whole bottom saucer, okay? Then we got the whole star drive section, engineering, secondary hull, whatever. Next generation, I think we say star drive section. Uh, well, that includes the warp nacelles, which we did not use. So we did have some warp nacelle parts in here. Um, this is some of the lights for the warp nacelle. And we had some of the clear plastic bits for the warp nacelle. I am going to, uh, I'm going to do something... Uh, I'm probably going to do what Todd's doing on his website, on myenterprised.com. I'm going to do something very similar to that, maybe slightly different, but pretty much that. Uh, so I have my 5-volt cob LED strips on order from Amazon, and those will be here pretty soon, probably Saturday, actually. I'll start playing with them. But right now, um, follow Todd's wiring. Follow all his pictures very closely, very carefully look. Even sometimes the fantastic and amazing and infallible Todd can forget to take an extra photo and say, pull this light back out of this panel and run it around this side. Happens very rarely, but I think I caught one tonight. And uh, if he watches this video, he'll be like, which one was it? And he'll probably want to redo the whole thing. <laughs> He's a perfectionist to a level of self-destruction I have never met. He is an awesome dude, but yeah. The cooling fan on my power supply is kicking on because 1.4 amps for a sustained period. And if you notice, a couple of our uh, lights are yellow here, our windows. We got some blue ones. We got a couple of blue ones here, a couple of blue ones here. I like that little Sharpie marker trick Todd had. It's hard to see on camera, uh, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to do a couple red windows because Wharf has to be somewhere in the ship. There was something I read, something about red windows, maybe BS, whatever. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do like one or two windows red, so it's like you know, Roxanne is in there. Well, you know, Deanna Troy, but yeah, Roxanne, don't if you go to Worf's room, you're gonna have to put the red light on. But that being said, awesome kit. So far, everything is fitting together reasonably well from what I can see, but like I said, a lot of these edge pieces pull stuff together. Uh, light blocking, if you do some basic stuff with electrical tape, we're good to go. And uh, the black putty and the little, uh, little, little pottery, plasticky sticks, all available if you go down to the link below on Amazon. Always like, subscribe, comment. Either way, we'll be back next time, uh, starting on stage lucky number 13 on this enterprise. Uh, and uh, stick along for the ride. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks, everybody. Beaming out. Adios.